Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the second part of the day trip to the seaside. Okay, so this is the second part of my day trip to the seaside. Arrival. We finally arrive at our destination. Luckily, the weather is warm and sunny. Upon exiting the station, we can smell the sea. We head to the town center where the high street is bustling with activity. So a destination is the place where you are traveling. What is the opposite of exit? Yes, enter. Do you also smell the sea when you are close to it? And what is the high street? High street is the main street in a town or a city where you have plenty of shops and restaurants. And to bustle with activity is to be very busy. Lots of activities happening. We are surprised as we finally reach the beach, the tide is low. Feeling disappointed, we lay down on the sand to sunbathe. After enjoying the sun for a few minutes, we see a huge dark cloud floating above us and it starts to rain. So we pack up our things and run for shelter. Have you seen the tide low before? Do you know what it means? It's when there is no water by the beach. Do you enjoy sunbathing? It's a thing that we get to enjoy very rarely here in the UK since the sun doesn't come out very often. What does the word shelter mean? Yes, it's a place where we go to protect ourselves from the elements, like the rain in this example. Staying indoors. We decide to have some tea in a nearby coffee shop overlooking the sea. The seagulls are flying around scavenging for food. There's an arcade nearby that we decide to visit. Everyone is busy playing all sorts of games, but no one seems to win. When you go on holiday, do you try to pick hotels that overlook the sea? Seagulls are scavenging birds. They basically look for food everywhere, including ours. Have you been to an arcade before? Do you like playing all these games? Have you ever won? I certainly haven't. A stroll along the promenade. We go for a walk along the coast after the rain stops. I'd like you to watch the short clip and describe what you see. So if you are describing what is happening right now, remember to use the present continuous. Okay, now that you've watched the video, what is happening? Two men are crossing the street. The flags are flying in the wind. Seagulls are standing on the groin. A lady is sitting on a bench. Some people are queuing to buy ice cream. Is anything else happening? Can you see anything different? The queues are usually extra long on a sunny day. Everyone wants to buy ice cream. Dinner. After walking for a long time and enjoying the sea, we go to a restaurant and sit in the outside garden. After browsing through the menu, I order pasta with white sauce and lime cordial, whereas my friend orders chicken curry with rice and water. The curry is very spicy. Do you prefer sitting outdoors if you have the option or do you prefer to sit indoors in a restaurant? Nowadays, menus are available online. Very few restaurants will give you a real menu to browse through. Do you know what a lime cordial is? A cordial is a sweet drink. Usually we add more water to it to dilute it. So, is everything clear so far? Good, let's carry on then. So, do you remember? What does my friend order for dinner? Where are the seagulls standing? On the groin, yes. And what is the weather like? So in the beginning it was nice and sunny and then it changed and it started raining. Eventually it got sunny again. So what is your favorite food? Do you prefer rice to pasta? Do you like curries? Do you have a sweet tooth or do you prefer savory food? Can you tolerate spicy food? 
do let me know in the comments below, please. Okay, so can you change the verbs in the paragraph to the past tense? So this whole story was written in the present tense. What I would like you to do is change this particular paragraph to the past. We finally arrive at our destination. Luckily, the weather is warm and sunny. Upon exiting the station, we can smell the sea. We head to the town centre, where the high street is bustling with activity. We finally arrived at our destination. Luckily, the weather was warm and sunny. Upon exiting the station, we could smell the sea. We headed to the town centre, where the high street was bustling with activity. Can you do the same with the rest of the paragraphs? Okay guys, so this was it for our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed the second part of the story and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye. Okay, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, if you like that kind of thing, do let me know, but I'll do more of it. If, um, if you have any more suggestions, do let me know as well, please, in the comments below. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.